Hey everybody, welcome back to the Training After 40 series. I am your host, Ben Bukulti, talking about recovery strategies. There's a small number of recovery strategies that are proven in science and proven in practice to work. The first one I want you to be considerate of is sleep. And I'm going to give you some hacks in this video that can completely transform your ability to fall asleep. So luckily for us, we're in the age of scientific advancement. There's so much knowledge around sleep that you simply can't ignore if you want to build muscle, live long, ultimately feel amazing, and continue to thrive as a human. So one of my hacks for sleep, I have the ability to, might be a superpower, to fall asleep in 10 seconds or less because I've learned to tap into my nervous system through my muscular system and through my visual system. And I want you to picture the muscles, right? Muscles contract. And when they're, when they're shortened, they're contracted, they're here. So we're tense, muscles are short. When muscles are relaxed, they're here. So one of the things that I practice on a day-to-day -day basis is the ability to let all of my tension melt. I am thinking about And the ability to leave the tension, take off your armor, so to speak, from the day is incredibly valuable to me and to my clients in helping people to turn down the nervous system. So think of the way our lives are set up today. We wake up in the morning, phone. Wake up in the morning, coffee. Wake up in the morning, work. Traffic, fighting, arguments, taxes, finances. There's so much going on. And you're always in a state of high sympathetic arousal. I'm always kind of ramped up. But if I don't train my ability to ramp down, then my nervous system gets used to staying in that state of high arousal all the time. So imagine 20 years of peak sympathetic arousal and never really training your ability to come down into parasympathetic. So an athlete, the thing that actually differentiates an elite level athlete from a not elite level athlete is not necessarily their ability to go fast or their ability to do, to do things at intensity. It's the ability to turn off. Really great athletes can jump on the ice or jump on the field or play one play and they're going at the full speed. And then boom, as soon as they're done, they come back to this calm state really quickly. That's a parasympathetic nervous system kicking in. They even like the brakes. So when somebody comes down, their heart rate goes up and boom, comes right down real quick. Somebody who's not healthy, maybe somebody who doesn't have this level of resilience built in the nervous system, they tend to get up and they stay up. Their heart rate stays elevated. And, and think of it like area under the grass. They're under the curve, so to speak. They're having a larger area under the curve. So their stress level stays up. So if you and I sprint to the corner and we come back, so one of us, our heart will stay up longer, the other one will come back down faster. And whoever comes back down faster is quickly to get into recovery state and their body will turn off faster. Jen, if you're not training your ability to recover, you're failing yourself. And not just in training, but in life. So how do we do that? We improve our aerobic fitness or so-called VL2 max. We maximize our nutrition. So we'll make sure our digestion, assimilation, absorption is great. We ultimately make sure that we're doing a breathing practice. We can consciously tap into the ability to relax. There's so many additional things we could be doing. Most of them are pretty small levers, cold plunges, potentially, sauna, potentially. They're not saying they're not useful, but for as far as a recovery lever, yeah, maybe. But you're not going to beat VO2 max, sleep, and, and high quality nutrition. That's by far your best levers for optimizing recovery. If you don't know how to do it and you want to learn more, reach out to us personally. We have documents in our private community. So we will invite you into our free community to just come and enjoy some of the content, understand some of these challenges and solutions, and help us work with you to ultimately be the best version of yourself for what matters most to you. I don't care if you want to be Mr. Olympia, you want to be a bodybuilder, or if you just want to be the best dad you can be, your best heart partner you can be. At the end of the day, we're here to help you show up at your highest and best energetically, physically, intellectually, spiritually, so ultimately you're thriving in your life. Gentlemen, thanks for being here. Thanks for being part of the Muslim Intelligence community. Another Training After 40 series video coming at you soon.